Hello and welcome. You're watching Thomas's Tower Readings with myself, Thomas Janak. Please like, subscribe and share. Now, those who have been um, visiting the channel for uh, a longer time will have noticed that I released a video about Venus going retrograde when it went into retrograde in August. So Venus has just come out of retrogradation. So Venus was retrograde uh, from... Um, August to September the 3rd for about four, five, six weeks thereabouts. Um, so the point is, while Venus was retrograde, it would have been very difficult uh, um, to feel loved, to make love work, to um, really embrace new love coming in. Now, all that has been rectified um, because of Venus um, going direct on September the 3rd. So, I hear you ask, why are you then talking about uh, Venus again? Well, because there are really awesome energies that have to do with Venus um, that are happening in September. And I just want to share this with you. So, on the 15th of September, we have a new, mo a new moon. The new moon, by default, is one of the best times to manifest anew. And the reason why I'm mentioning it is because just days prior to us being in the new moon energy or the new moon being there fully, love is really highlighted. So on September the 10th, the moon is very close to the brightest stars in the constellation of Gemini, which are Castor and Pollux. The story of Castor and Pollux is that these are two brothers. One was made by a human uh, one was made uh, or with a human, one was made with a deity, which means only one of them um, will be here forever. So the brothers were looking for a way to stay together for a long time. Hence, they were then made and turned into stars, but one of them will eventually burn out. What that all means is that on September the 10th is possibly the one day in September where the feeling of I feel loved, right? I, I'm inviting in love, I'm manifesting love, it's not really working. So whatever you do on the tenth, you know, make sure there's coffee and cake involved and just get through the day. Somehow it's not going to be a, um, a very bad day. It's just that when it comes to your emotions, September the 10th is not going to be a great day. Much better, though, will be the days right after. So the day um, 11th and 12th, and to a certain extent, the 13th. So that's what I want you to focus on. On the 11th and the 12th, the moon, which governs our emotion, is super close to Venus, which is all about love, which is all about what am I manifesting here, right? If that makes sense. Really, really important. The reason why I'm mentioning this is because Venus as a planet is the only planet that doesn't move um, anti-clockwise. So, when a planet moves anti-clockwise, spiritually speaking, anti-clockwise means we're taking shit out that no longer serves us. Venus doesn't do that. Right? So, so Venus as a, as a harmony um, bringer um, gives much more choices um, and stays with situations way longer than, than, than it should, which has always been the downfall of, um, especially Libra and Taurus, which are governed by Venus, Right? But for all of us who are, who are in love, it's um, very difficult um, to um, call a spade a spade and look at what needs to be changed here because, because of Venus's energy and imprint to give things another try and another try and another try and another try. <laughs> Again, I'm not saying, you know, that things aren't working and you should just leave someone. I'm not saying that. But the point is, there is a tendency when Venus is involved, and Venus is super close to the moon, that um, we're painting nicer pictures, right? So that is a bit of a downside uh, that happens on the 11th and the 12th. The other upside is that on the 11th and the 12th, we are already in new moon energy, which will be fully here, fully formed, so to speak, on the 15th. But the energy and the drive of wanting to manifest the new um, without distractions reflecting on what's going on is already around us 
on the 11th and the 12th. And because the moon is so close to Venus, it'll give you the chance to really look at how am I feeling? But because the moon and Venus are close, you will really be able to look at the joy in your relationship, which also then makes it easier, should there be very little joy, to change that. But when it comes to your relationship, when it comes to self-love, when it comes to manifesting new relationships, the 10th and the 11th is going to be amazing. Now, on the 15th, we're going to uh, the new moon, which is about, you know, changes to a certain extent, but about manifestation, new beginnings. And the reason why this is all um, combined perfectly is because on the 14th of September, right, as the moon moves away from Venus, the moon stops by the star system of Regulus. Now, Regulus is the brightest star system in the constellation of Leo. So, Regulus looks like one star from Earth, uh, but as a matter of fact, it's a pair of two stars each that make up a four-star system. Now, four is the number of letting go. So, just to recap, right? On the 10th, you will feel tad lost, not quite sure where to go here. On the 11th and the 12th, you will really see the joy, the love inside your heart, you know, what is working in a relationship, what isn't, you know, what do I really want, you know, and always focus on the joy um, that a new relationship can bring you or the relationship you're in brings you, if that makes sense, right? But then when it goes to Regulus, the strongest star system in Leo, and Leo has the energy um, or the tendency to move away a little, to observe better, and because it is in the star system Regulus, which is the number four. Four is the number of letting go. And then the 15th is the new moon. You will naturally, progressing from, I, f I don't feel uh, uh, really happy here on the 10th, right, to feeling, oh my God, you know, my life is really great and I know what I want now, to stepping back a little without stress, focusing on what is here that doesn't serve me. And then on the 15th, manifest to let that go fully. So, the point is, a lot of people just go through these changes unaware. That's why I'm here for it, right? Please be aware that, you know, 11, 12, 14, 15 are absolutely amazing energies when it comes to reflecting on, on how your love life is working, uh, inviting in what you really want, right? And letting go what isn't. That was all uh, a very short reading about Venus going direct. Um, again, you will probably find that, or most people will find that weird, that there is a video about Venus going direct. But um, it is what it is. And thank you so much for, for watching. See you next time. Bye-bye.